facial appearance changes occur over time. We all know it's a natural process. But what causes these changes that we see? Why do some people age well and look years younger than they actually are? And how can we look fresh and glowing, whether we're 30 or 60? It's no surprise that balance and symmetry in the face are the basis of attractiveness. But we can't all be Audrey Hepburn or Angelina Jolie, nor do we want to be. We just want to look the best we possibly can for as long as we can. Every face can be divided into three distinct areas. The upper face, mid face and lower face. The key to looking fresh and retaining a natural look over time is facial harmony. When we have balance from the upper face to the mid and lower face, the total effect remains pleasing to the eye. We all age differently and some facial areas will age at a different rate to others. The objective of rejuvenation is not just to remove an annoying wrinkle, but to consider the underlying support structures and keep the whole face in harmony, thereby achieving a fresh, natural look. The outward signs of ageing are not just a result of what is happening on the surface. The ageing process affects all four layers of the face – bone, muscle, volume and skin. And these four layers combine to reveal what we see on the outside. Let's first look at the upper face. At the deepest layer, loss of bone, particularly around the eyes, means less support for the overlying skin volume. The result is deeper circles around the eyes and temples, producing a more hollow appearance. With time, the constant activity of facial muscles over the bone contribute to line formation from repeated expression. Crow's feet, frown lines and forehead lines become etched in skin over time as permanent wrinkles. Loss of muscle elasticity and descent of the soft tissue of the forehead contributes to the descent of the brow. Moving to the mid-face. With ageing, loss of volume becomes more apparent. The cheekbones start to lose projection, becoming less defined, and together with the descent of cheek fat pads, more soft tissue volume is pushed downward. This leads to a hallmark sign of volume redistribution in the mid-face, the formation of nasolabial folds. These run from the nose to the mouth, where underlying ligaments stop the facial volume from moving further. Decreased muscle elasticity means less support for fat pads that sit under the eyes, and these also begin to bulge. Muscles of the mid-face involved with repeated facial expressions contribute to the appearance of fine lines around the mouth. These are called accordion lines and are accentuated even further by facial volume loss. In the lower face, loss of bone in the upper jaw reduces support to the lips and mouth. As with the other thirds of the face, soft tissue volume is also lost in fat pads, particularly around the mouth and in the lips. This combined with repeated muscle action over time, such as pursing of lips, causes lines created to become permanent and gain prominence. Loss of bone along the junction of the lower face and neck leads to a loss of jawline definition. When combined with decreased muscle elasticity and the descent of the overlying volume, this leads to the appearance of jowls. Repeated muscle action around the mouth causes the corners of the mouth to turn downward and repeated muscle action in the chin leads to dimpling of the chin. In all facial areas, Environmental factors contribute to the ageing of the skin. Sun damage and smoking leads to pigmentation and loss of tone and texture. Intrinsic factors such as a decrease in fibrous proteins, elastin and naturally occurring complex sugars decrease skin elasticity. Your clinician can give you a professional assessment on where you're looking great and what areas may be letting you down. Here are some areas you might like to discuss. In the upper face, the signs of ageing are generally forehead lines, frown lines and those lines around the eyes known as crow's feet. Normally seen only when smiling, as we age these lines become visible even at rest. Other areas which expose visible ageing 
are hollow temples and brows. Everyone is different, but all of these areas can be treated with either muscle relaxants and or dermal fillers to reduce wrinkles and restore volume in the upper face. The mid face is affected by tear troughs, dark circles and skin pigmentation issues. You may see changes in cheek contour from volume depletion and the descent of the mid face forming nasolabial folds. Dermal fillers and volumizing fillers can reduce the signs of aging to larger areas in the mid face. The lower face is particularly affected in the 40s, 50s, 60s and 70s. Lines around the mouth, loss of lip volume, sagging corners of the mouth, jowls and loss of jawline definition all play a part in causing facial imbalance. Again, dermal fillers and volumizing fillers are able to address all of these areas of concern. Working from the inside out. Wrinkle relaxation treatments have been used for therapeutic indications for over 20 years. They are also used to relax the facial muscles that cause expression lines and can provide a very effective method of preventing further line formation. Dermal fillers are gels made from naturally occurring complex sugars. These sugars are already present in the layers of your skin, providing structure, support and skin elasticity. Dermal fillers can be used to fill in discrete regions like static wrinkles that are visible when the face is at rest, deeper folds and the lips. Volumizing fillers enhance or restore structure, volume and youthful contours to the larger areas of the face like cheeks and the jawline. Everyone's needs are different, so it's important to talk to a clinician who can suggest options to improve skin quality, texture and tone, dark circles to freckles and rosacea or other skin issues. There are a range of skin treatment options. Cosmeceuticals with active ingredients, microdermabrasion, laser or IPL to resurface the skin and assist reduction of fine lines, freckles and facial veins even a chemical peel to remove the upper layers of the skin and stimulate rejuvenation. You can start by doing something for your skin right now. Remember to keep well hydrated by drinking eight glasses of water every day. Simply by wearing a hat and applying high SPF sunscreen containing UVA and UVB filters every day, you'll begin to make a difference. All prevention begins here. Naturally, we all want to look our best, and understanding the changes that occur over time is a good place to start. Why wait? Have a conversation today about ways to not only protect your skin, but also rejuvenate your appearance with natural looking results.